Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. Well, during the height of the pandemic, there were all kinds of dire predictions about what would happen to car dealers across the country. And I'm here to tell you that they are alive and well and joining us in the studio to talk about that, Michael Baum and Brian Day from Hearst and Louisville Autoplex. Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having us. Thank you. Yeah. So <clears throat> we were talking before the show that all of those predictions did not come true. Tell us about business. Yeah, so business is, uh, it's, it's great. I mean, we were very fortunate and blessed and lucky. Um, March and April were a little tough, but business wasn't off, you know, 50% like everybody was predicting. It was, you know, maybe 10%. And then once the restrictions were let off and, and DFW, uh, we were seeing, you know, record months in May and June. And it's uh, it's an absolute blast coming to work every day. That's Helping awesome. people get new cars. And Brian, you just joined. Mm -hmm. I did, about yeah. a month ago. So how do you explain the surge in sales? You know, it starts with the people. You know, we have a lot of great people at the dealership. Um, it's family owned and operated. So everyone who actually comes and joins the family becomes part of the family. Anyone who actually comes in and purchases a vehicle from Louisville or Hearst Autoplex, uh, they become part of the family as well, as, but especially on the servicing side too. So, And um, Michael, this is a family company. Tell us how it all began. Yeah, sure is. So when we say we're family owned and operated, we truly mean it. You can go to either location and somebody who's involved uh, from the family will be there normally uh, you know, from open to close. And uh, my grandpa got in the car business in the 70s. Uh, my dad carried that on. Um, uh, we had a Chrysler dealership in Irving. And then in 2002, we got Louisville Mitsubishi, which turned into Louisville Autoplex. And then in 2012, we started Hearst Autoplex. Wow. We've got uh, some video of a flyover of, over your Louisville location. And it's just an absolutely beautiful, um, like in, in my mind, kind of a Taj Mahal. It's a, tell, us, tell us about uh, the construction of that. So that dealership you're seeing on the screen, it took uh, about a year to build, and it is the largest uh, Mitsubishi dealership in the entire world, not just in you know the United States. It's their uh, landmark facility, and we were the first one to build it. It's their new image program, and it's you know state of the art. It, I would put it up against any dealership you see here in DFW. We've got a massive uh, showroom that can fit over 15 cars. Um, the service the the service garage is, is huge brian can tell you a little bit more about it i think we have probably over 20 stalls to, you know service our, our our used cars and customers that are coming in so it's a, it's a great facility uh, brian was that something that attracted you to uh, autoplex very much so uh, the cleanliness of the dealership um, how everybody makes sure that the actual landscaping is <clears throat> top notch um, everything has a place for it and um, it's great to have also uh, you know service advisors in a, in a very nice welcoming professional area to work out of as well as the sales side too every salesperson actually has a sales office so you're not actually up in the out in the open you can actually get real intimate with the guest and talk about you know financials you know big moves they're about to make so and uh michael you were telling me before the show that you actually started at the bottom i mean almost with a broom like yeah here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah i would uh my dad when i'd be out of school he'd wake me up in the morning and say you're coming work with me and uh you know i'd go to work with him and Started off just like moving cars, and that's how I learned to drive. Was on a you know car dealership at 14 years old, and had a couple you know friends of mine, you know family friends that still work at the dealership, you know that would uh, basically mentor me how to move a car, put it in line, and then be in the back washing the cars. So, I mean, I've been you know done the lot porter, 
I guess you would call it detail, but I'm not sure that other people would call what I was doing detail. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, uh, parts porter. So, yeah, That's start, cool. Start yeah. it all. Well, I applaud your dad for starting you off uh, at the bottom because uh, then you learn every facet of the business. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and when your employees are, you know, challenging you on something, you can say, hey, I, I did that. Yeah, I, yeah. I know all I about can't, it. When I've got the high school kids or college kids come to work for me in the summer, and I tell them something to do, and they look at me like, hey, I used to do the same thing. So That's cool. I don't feel sorry for you. <laughs> uh, uh, Brian, let's talk about millennials, because a lot has been said about this generation, that they're like an Uber generation. They're not really a car generation. What's What's been your experience? Uh, the, the biggest experience I've actually seen, or the biggest change I've actually seen from this, uh, this group of uh, individuals, they tend to kind of hold on to their vehicles um, longer than probably normal. Um, which has actually been great for the service side and the parts side for fixed operations. Um, you know, some actually wait, you know, as we alluded earlier, <clears throat> that uh, they wait till after college and they get their vehicle, you know, and they're going to be in their mid-20s at that time. And at that time, they're really kind of uh, just trying to find something they're going to hold on to for, you know, let's say eight, eight years or so typically, or it used to be two years and they would flip into something different. So that's what we're kind of seeing right now. That's awesome. Um, so, Michael, uh, let's talk about happy customers. We got some pictures off of your Facebook page, and that's got to feel good to to make customers happy. Yeah, and it's it's one of the favorite parts of every salesman and customer is taking a picture of your new car in front of the facility. And mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times they'll ask us to take it with their phone, which we'll gladly do because we know where they're putting that that picture of that new car. It's going right on Facebook or Instagram. And um, I mean, you can go online. We have you know thousands of five-star positive reviews on Google, Yelp, uh, Bing. So taking care of our customers is definitely our number one goal. And I'd say it's, you know, why we've been able to stay in business for so long, even through tough times, is we always have that consistent, you know, customer base that's coming back and it's only going to buy from us or service their vehicle with us because, you know, we treat them right. Awesome. Um, talk uh, some more about the family customer. What's the feeling when you come on the lot? I mean, it's it's not like a typical dealership, and that's like the best compliment we get is, uh, you know, I've never. This is the best car buying experience I've ever had, or this is not like all the other dealerships. I didn't wait around for three hours because, you know, you could talk to customers. They'll tell you they'd rather have a tooth pulled than go buy a car, right. and um, we try to make it the exact opposite. I mean, we have a video that I did on our website, you know, detailing our new way to purchase a car. It's called Autoplex Express. You can literally do everything over the phone or on the internet get your car appraised, get approved for financing, and you come into the store, we'll have the car detailed, clean, paperwork ready to go. You're in and out in less than you know 20 minutes is what we're telling people. And if you do it the right way, we can get you in and out that quick. I mean, it's, it's really, car buying is an easy, car buying and car selling is very easy. It's just, you know, people that don't know how to do it right, they're the ones who are making it hard. Yes. All right. How about car buying trends? Uh, I know, uh, that, you know, you, we had the kind of electric car tr trend now with gas prices being so low. Are we going to see a resurgence of, of bigger cars and trucks? No doubt. Uh, we can't keep trucks on the lot fast enough. We're at our lowest point in time. We, you know, I think we only have like 50 trucks uh, on our pre-owned side that are available right now. And it's typically double that. Um, and Brian, can see it, he sees it in the service department too. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a vehicle and we'll have the it'll lifted wheels and tires put on it in the week with our lift team. And then that'll be gone for in three days. You know, we'll even walk back and go, where did that Jeep go? You know, and we already gone for home for the day. Turns out they sold that evening. And uh, it'll hit the it'll hit the internet, you know, in a few minutes. And then all of a sudden they're getting a lot of leads for it. And then they're actually wanting, they're coming back to actually look at that one vehicle and the vehicle's not there. So the next thing you know, they're saying, well, we can still build you one. Yes. So that's the great thing about our dealerships too. You know, what you see, we can actually build it and actually tailor it to what you want. It's not just um, this one cookie cutter approach. And I know with, uh, with, with cell phones, a lot of uh, young buyers will do all their shopping on the phone mm -hmm. and, and know exactly what features they like before they even come in the dealership right yeah. and it's made our job that much easier because it's not like we're we're out on the lot spending three hours picking out do you want a car truck suv lighter dark color automatic mm -hmm. manual they already know what they want when they get there our job is just to make sure they're treated right and and give them a great experience that's awesome yeah. well you guys have been wonderful we're out of time for this but we're going to put your website uh up uh you actually have a couple of websites uh right there on the screen lewisville autoplex and hearstautoplex.com thank you guys appreciate you being on the show thanks, thanks for thanks having us appreciate that that's it for now we'll see you next time